Welcome back, Bob the Vaping Computer Guy. Today we're taking a look at the Aura RDA. Alright, so if you know me, I'm not much of a dripper. Uh, I don't use RDAs a lot. I use them testing and stuff like that, or sitting at my desk occasionally. But I usually like tanks just because it's convenient for me. It's just the way I vape. I'm in and out of my office all the time. I like to have, you know, I'm constantly in a car like to have an RTA with me. Well, this is the Aura RDA. Um, this is by Digiflavor and DJ LSB Vapes. Daniel. So, damn it, Daniel. I've been vaping on this thing and it makes me want to go back to RDAs all the time. Um, the flavor has been great on it and I don't know why I'm telling you this. We're going to dive down to the table first and then we'll talk about it when I come back. All right, so here we have it, the Aurora RDA uh, by Digiflavor, made in conjunction with Daniel, DJ LSB Vapes. I have not used this yet. I have looked at it. I put it back in the box. We're going to take a look at it together, and then uh, I'm going to start vaping on it and tell you what I think about it. All right, so here you go. You have the RDA, which looks really nice. Get that close up for you there. All right, machining on this looks absolutely superb. Very nice, straight. You can usually tell by the lines, uh, the quality of the machining. Really protruding 510 pin. All right. So, of course it was, because Daniel thought of that. Uh, this little Delrin plate comes off. And you have your name, I guess it's serial number on there, everything on there, manufactured by Digiflavor. So you have this as a spacer. Throw that on. You have your drip tip here. 810. You have a replacement as well in here, which I actually like this replacement better, I think. I'm going to use that. Just because it's a little higher and thinner. I like the way the black looks on there. Pull off the top. See the machining on that? Really nice, very rounded right at the end there before it goes up the final part of the chimney. We'll look at the airflow, we'll put it back on, look at the airflow in a minute. Let's look at the deck. Deck is interesting. You have Phillips screws, you got a deep juice well, and I've loosened these screws, and as you can see, that's where your coils are going to go. They're not spring-loaded like some other RDAs are doing, so you will have to lift them up when you go to put in. Am I showing you that? Sorry, did I get off camera there? You will have to lift those up by hand when you put your coils in there. And we're going to put the coils in, and we'll take a look at it. All right? Really thick Phillips screws in there. Airflow in the side here, coming up those sides. Throw this back on. Throw the top back on. Now, if your coils are here, you have your bottom airflow coming straight up. Throw the top back on. You also have the option for side airflow. And you can easily turn off the side airflow. All right. Now, you turn off the side airflow and you have the bottom. What you can also do, and it's kind of hard when it's not on a mod, so I'm going to put it on a mod here. What you can do is you can turn off that bottom airflow. Alright, so the bottom airflow is closed. And then your side airflow, if you notice when you turn it, so when you turn and close off your bottom airflow, alright, bottom airflow is open, the side airflow is there, but if you turn it, then you still have these other airflow slots that will hit your coils directly. See? here and here so then you can place your top cap on and have only side airflow so a lot of a lot of RDAs will give you basically not one or the other they'll give you the bottom and the side or just the bottom or something like that this allows you to have the choice you can have the bottom and the side or you can have just the bottom or you can have just the side that's wonderful I love that and of course, Daniel's going to think of that too, uh, because this is what he does, and it's just wonderful to have the choice. It's always nice to have choice on there. All right, let's take a look at the deck. So, well, let's take a look at what else it comes with. You're going to get a Digi Flavor heavy-duty screwdriver. All right, which fits perfectly for 
these thick screws that we have in here. Okay, we'll loosen those up. We'll put that down. You have an extensive manual here. You got a 510. I'm sorry, yeah, 510 adapter. So instead of using an 810, you can put this in and use your standard 510 coils. 510 coils, 510 drip tips. You have a couple of extra screws and you have a squonking pin. All right, so if you want to squonk, you can put that in. And here's a simple thing, but something I really like. So many devices are coming with coils these days. So many atomizers are coming with coils, but they're usually coming with, you know, flat aliens and coils that I don't like. These are simple spaced Claptons, okay? That's the kind of coil I like. These are the kind of coils that I prefer to use every day. I usually use the coils that came come with a, a device when testing it, then I pull them out eventually and put my own in. I love that this came with just plain, simple space Claptons. Wonderful. Then you get this, you actually get a whole bunch of coil wrapping tools. Look at that. So if you know how to make your own coils, here's some easy jigs for wrapping coils. My only complaint about them would be, it doesn't say the size of them, it doesn't say how many millimeters they are. Two and a half, three, one and a half, what they are. Not the big deal at all, but you do get them. You got four different sizes there, all right? So, wonderful bonus, little extra that you get there. Let's go ahead and throw these coils in here. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So, as you can see, let's see if I can turn this just so you can see it a little better. All right, that's pretty good. So, once you loosen those screws, as you can see, that's just gonna come right up. All right, so you are gonna have to play around with it a little bit to get the coils in, because you're going to have to put one side in and then get the other side in. It's probably not the best novice thing to do. And as you'll see, you have, obviously because of the size of the deck, this side is high, this side is low. So on your coil, you're always going to have one side that's down, one side that's up. So you're going to take this side here that's the lower end, and you're going to put it into the lower part, and this upper part is going to go into the upper part. Now what you're going to have to do here is you can't tighten it down because you got to get your other coil in, okay? So people have different methods for doing this. I usually just play it by ear. I'm going to cut this without losing an eye, all right? Then a lot of times you can take one of these just to hold it in place, all right? And if you want to just eyeball it, which is usually what I do, look at the side, look at that coil, okay? You can see how long it is. I'm just going to take the next one. Oops, take the next coil and cut it to about the same length. And I feel confident in getting it good enough just because I've done it so many times. Um, it's, it's not hard, it really isn't. No brain surgery here. If there was, I would have killed the patient. Pop that in. Of course, now I got it much further than I had it before. Pop that in, and of course, it's, you know, it can be a little tricky getting this just right. You kind of got to get it where you want it. Take your trusty screwdriver. I would say tighten one side down gently. Focus! One side down gently, then the other side down gently. Oh, camera, you're getting me annoyed. Um, and then once they're both, you know, not not really in there tight, just enough that you can take these out and then check them out. Don't worry about height because you can you can move them up and down later on. Worry more about spacing them over the airflow, okay? And as you can see, those are directly over the airflow. All right. Then go ahead and crank that sucker down. All right. Boom. 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 All right. Now you can go ahead and you can use your tweezers if you want. Bring them to whatever height you want. They don't have to be perfect, but I want to bring them a little bit lower to the airflow. Now I don't know what this is set for, but let's see if we can get these things glowing. Look at that. 
perfect. Spaced fused Clapton's. It's just, it's the way to go, all right? I probably have this power a little too high on here. I can't tell you the resistance on here because I'm not throwing it on a regulated mod at the moment. Just throw it on this uh, Dovepo VVM mod, which is just great for drippers. Look at that, beautiful. All right, let's get some cotton. All right, wanna make sure that's cooled down. comb it out just to loosen it up so it'll wick a little better. Try not to hit the fire button like I just did and possibly burn your cotton. Okay. And I just go and I cut off all that mess. Tuck that down there, tuck that down there. And there you go. All right, so we got that all in there, ready to go. Let's get some juice. Got one of my favorites. I love cookies too. I buy them in zero and make them a one. It's all I vape, one milligram. I am a little concerned when dripping in here through the top cap if it's going to go down that airflow. Hopefully not. Hopefully the way I have it built, the coils are very far out over the airflow. Hopefully the dripping is going to go like this and just go straight down, hit the coils and roll in. If you put your coils in far, I have a feeling it would hit the top and roll out into the airflow. So I'm hoping that's not going to happen by the way I built it. All right, so there you go. I'm going to throw this top cap on. I'm going to try it with just bottom airflow. Let's go back on top. All right, so. Before I talk about it, let's go over a little bit of specs on the thing. Um, so obviously it's designed by Daniel, DJ LSB Vapes, uh, in conjunction with Digiflavor. Uh, specs, 24 millimeter, 1.5 mil, juice well, uh, dual post, clamp, bu clamp building, dual post, uh, secured by two user-friendly skill, uh, skills, screws, I'm just reading this here. Um, you got a domed cap for inc increased flavor, uh, bottom and middle air flows. Um, adjustable airflow top cap, PEI heat sink base for heat reduction, you got the Y bore A10 drip tips of course, you have the 510 adapter included, um, you also got the, the squonking pin included, and it comes with a whole load of accessories. So let's just say I love it, absolutely love it, cons, none, there's no cons. Um, now I'm not saying, you know, it's hard when you're reviewing something for somebody you know and you know you want to find something so you seem like you're being more honest, but I can't find anything wrong. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a great RDA. I love the fact, so many RDAs that have side and bottom airflow, so many have where you'll get, you can either have just bottom, or if you want the side, you're also going to get the bottom. You know, it's like, you, you, it, a lot of times it's, it's both. You can't, and you can control, when you control one, it affects the other and so forth. Not the case here. You can have just bottom airflow, or you can have just side airflow, which is wonderful. I've been vaping it both ways, trying it out. The way that's perfect for me is bottom airflow slightly closed. Okay, see the bottom is slightly closed, and the side airflow is all completely closed. And this thing has just been vaping unbelievably good. I have some of my I Love Cookies 2 in here, which is one of my favorite juices. Um, I don't have the bottle, it's, I put into this. Um, dripping down the middle. I was very worried with the placement of the airflow, the way it comes up, that when I dripped, it was gonna go down the airflow and could leak. Um, I have not had that problem at all. When you put your coils over, towards the outside, over the airflow, like I have here, dripping down the middle goes right onto the center pins, 
you know, onto the posts and down with no leaking whatsoever. Uh, the times it has leaked on me has been me over dripping because I pick it up and I just drip forgetting that I dripped a little while ago. So <laughs> other than that, zero problems with dripping. Drip down the center, no problems, no leaking. Flavor is unbelievable on it. Um, and again, you know, drippers, it's not like one is going to be tremendous and one is horrible. Most drippers will give you good flavor because they're going to give you better flavor than you're going to get out of a coil, a pre-built coil. Uh, but this has just been wonderful. Everything about it's been working great. Now with those um, coil building jigs that I showed you that were included, what they're doing there is you have two and two. Okay, it's really designed uh, not for you to wrap your coils on. You can do that, but it's but it's designed mainly, I would say, to hold your coils in place while you screw it down. It makes it very easy to stick two of the same size um, coil rods in there, hold them in place, and turn your screws down. So you know the building on there is is a, is a little bit more advanced because you got to get them both in the right place and clamp them down together. Um, but for me, you know, or if you've built, you have your experienced builder, no problem. It just works great. Um, I think it looks great. I like this drip, the black drip chip on it better. Uh, I just like the size better on that. Um, and I've been, I've been banging this thing out all day long, every day since I got it. Um, and it's made me go to this instead of, you know, my normal RTAs because the flavor is just unbelievable. Absolutely love it. Um, it makes me want to sit here and drip all the time. I've been dripping while I've been driving, something you should never do, just because I've been enjoying the flavor on it so much and it's been so good. Um, it's built well. The thread, the threading, there's no threading. The fit is nice on it. That um, spacer that you get on the bottom does not detract from the looks of it at all and yet completely keeps it from transferring heat. Um, I've used it on some other metal mods that were more metal and normally you might get heat from the uh, RDA transferring to your mod with that little spacer on the bottom. That's not happening. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of anything else I could tell you that makes this thing wonderful, but everything about it is just great. The design is wonderful. The nice big Phillips or flat head, you can use either one, but you get that nice big Phillips screwdriver uh, included there. Uh, makes it easy to crank those suckers down tight. You can fit whatever you want in there. I love the idea that you have both air flows, the side or the top. You have the bottom fill. I haven't even used it for squonking, to be honest. Um, it, it's going to work fine for squonking, but I haven't had any reason to, to do the squonking. I've been dripping on it, and it's fine. i got to get some new squonking mods. Squonking is, is starting to come back now, and I don't have a lot. All the squonk mods I have are single 18650 uh, devices, and the battery, to me, that just doesn't last long enough. You know, I need, I need a, a dual battery device or maybe a 2700 um, squonker, which they're coming out. In fact, I think I have one coming soon. Absolutely wonderful uh, for the price. I mean, this thing is going for under thirty bucks. You could find it for you know twenty-five to thirty-two dollars. I think twenty-nine dollars is, is what I see it for going on my vapor store just because I buy from them a lot, um, and it's just great. Uh, the five ten pin is you know long protruding, uh, you know, so that makes it good if you're going to put it on a mech. It's just wonderful. I like it. I'm very happy with it. I think he did an unbelievable job. I wouldn't have expected anything less from someone that takes such pride and um, technical prowess in uh, his devices and everything he does. He knows this stuff well. He knows it probably better than anybody else out there. Um, so, of course, if he designs something or is involved in designing something, it's going to be excellent. So, Daniel, great job. Highly recommend the Aura RDA by Daniel G DG LSB Vapes. Uh, and Digiflavor. I gotta keep looking at Digiflavor because I forget who he does it with. You know, I know Daniel, but Digiflavor I keep forgetting about. So there you go. From Digiflavor and Daniel, there is the Aura RDA.